Indonesia's capital of traditional culture is a secret foodie paradise. My entry into Jogjakarta's food world was a dark, rich loaf of bread. Not very adventurous, but in the same way that stout is like a meal in a glass, this bread was packed full of goodness. It, along with an amazing apricot jam, came from a local permaculture farm. So, it felt only natural to visit the farm itself to find out more. Tucked in the hills, roughly an hour outside of the city, Bumi Langit is a model for sustainable agriculture. Fortunately, we were able to take a short guided tour around the property to learn about its integrated systems. It has everything from aquaculture to biogas and even bathtub worm farms. That night, we returned to our Airbnb hosts who had converted their garage into a Luwak coffee shop. They source their beans from wild luwaks in the rainforest of Flores, which keeps their production to a really small scale. Another foodie hotspot in Jogja is its farmer's market. My favourite storeholder was a young business student who was selling vegan ice cream. With startup costs including an esky and a few quality ingredients, he proved that size doesn't matter. The rum and raisin flavour was absolutely dynamite. But the highlight of my Dog Jakarta food experience was a guided tour. First up, Mare took us to visit the Tempeh Master. He got the impression that she knows absolutely everything there is to know about this soybean product. The diversity of raw ingredients in the local market was super impressive. Having access to local knowledge unlocked many of its secrets. When I asked Mare what this wood was used for, she explained that it makes rooibos tea. Who would have thought? We walked away with a seasonal selection of local produce along with a proper culinary education. It was straight to the kitchen to start a massive cook-up. From sambal to fish curry, Mare talked us through the essential techniques for cooking a few key Javanese recipes. Needless to say, the flavours were amazing. Indonesia might be famous for its rice fields, but travellers be aware there is so much more to discover.